Hey yo, what is up guys? I am back and today we're going to be reviewing this legendary assault rifle. Uh, in my case, this assault rifle is, it's pretty good. Um, myself, I don't really use it much, but it's a really good assault rifle. For me, it's a flame uh, fire version. For you guys, uh, you could get any kind of version. I think it doesn't come in slag. I'm not sure, but for this weapon, oh, before we do that, so you can get this person to pop up, you're going to have to do a mission that requires this billboard right here. You can go here, there's going to be a mission, I don't know what it's called, but it's going to be a mission where you're going to have to find Mordecai's stash in the dust. I don't know what it's called, but you should be about one third through the camp, the actual story. So you could get that mission. So what you're gonna want to do is go to the dust. In my case, you could go uh, the long way or the shortcut way. Uh, I could. I always use the shortcut way, which I'm gonna show you guys. But uh, again, there's gonna be two people there. Uh, all right, I'm gonna show you guys right here on the map. You guys could either go all the way around right here. They right here is where they are. You can go all the way around like that, or you can grab a car, go over here, and stop right here. And it's kind of like a shortcut. I'll show you guys. So let's get in the car. This little edge rock right here. So what you're gonna want to do is jump right here keep going forward and right there in that church if you finish that mission he should pop out and there should be also another guy who should pop up around over there so here we go yep there he is uh, let's take him out Alright, as you guys can see, there you go, he dropped it right there. So let's go, go ahead and preview this thing. There we go. Uh, again, for me, it's a fire type. Um, so uh, let's go test this out and see if you guys like it. Alright, okay, now we are in Thousand Cuts. Uh, about to preview this weapon, I obviously have the B shield. So it shoots horizontally, as you can see this gun is very good. Obviously with the B it's obviously going to be OP. So, oh, let me kill a few enemies so you guys can see. It shoots horizontally, so it's a pretty unique weapon. It's not super OP, but it's one of those weapons you, you would probably like to get. This gun's, this gun's not the best assault rifle, and it's not the worst. It's, I would recommend, yeah, getting this assault rifle. It is ultimately pretty good. Alright, now we're going to be equipping a different shield. So I can show you this thing is also pretty good without the B. So it's not good against um, enemies with shields, so it's going to be kind of a disadvantage having this. Like I was saying, uh, the best strategy with this weapon is to take out the shield and then kill him with this, because this thing against shields is pretty trash. So uh, I'll take out the shields, then take them out with this. Because this is not good at all against the shields. So I'm going to go just take them out real quick. 
and I'll demonstrate to you guys how this thing shoots. After we take out this guy. This gun is not this gun is not a, like a normal assault rifle. This one, as you can see, it shoots horizontally. Every time you shoot, it goes into a different direction. It could go vertically, horizontally. Uh, yeah, I could do like a little cross. So, overall, is it worth farming for this weapon? I would say yes. Uh, its damage against flesh is very good. But if you're looking to destroy shields, uh, I don't think this is your weapon. Unless there's a corrosive version of this weapon, which I don't think I have seen. So, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little guide. Hopefully it helped you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.